refill, <clears throat> Chick-fil-A deluxe chicken sandwich. Oh yeah, I'm about to go in. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. One of my latest videos is Diamond Select Gallery Batgirl. You also have Diamond Select Gallery Siri. You have the movie run. And check out one of my other videos, like the Black Series Zori Bliss. You girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you later. Peace. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Wow, this is like one of the best purchases I've made in a lifetime. And this uh, statue actually was like very much cheap. It was barely $40. I think it was like $35. But when it got here, I was like, good God, how big is it? This is one of the bigger statues I do have in the collection. Matter of fact, it is my biggest. And uh, yeah, so this is the man uh, Mankind. Uh, I've been watching too much wrestling. This is the Iron Man MK50 uh, Unmasked. So Iron Man Mach 50 Unmasked. You guys ready? All right, let's begin. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by Lips by Kimmy, Cooking with KD, Thanos looking so hard back there, and my fake Darth Maul from China. All right, see now how we do. Let's get into some Diamond Select statues. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and go live. Excuse me, Darth Maul from China. I know I've been promising you guys the Punisher. He's right here, uh, right here by me. But when this came in today, I just could not focus on the Punisher. I had to do uh, this video first. I had to get Iron Man out of this box first. This is from the uh, Avengers Infinity War. Just very cool, very big statue. And uh, you know it's not much to see on the box. There's a lot of my six fingers interrupt your video. Not much to see on the top. Nothing's on the side. Nothing's on the other side either. And uh, you know we got the back. The back is going to give us the product shot with a little bit of information. So here's the product shot right here. Very cool, looks just like Robert Downey Jr. Even the statue inside looks like Robert Downey Jr. I already checked it out. Um, so, uh, as the Avengers and their allies have continued to protect the world from threats too large for any one hero to handle, the new danger, a new danger has emerged from the cosmic shadows, Thanos, a despot of intergalactic inf uh, infamy. His goal is to collect all six Infinity Gems, artifacts of imaginable power, and use them to inflict, uh, to inflict his twisted will on all of reality. Everything the Avengers have fought for has led up to this moment. The fate of the Earth and existence itself has never been more uncertain. This 9-inch scale PVC diorama of Iron Man is based off his appearance in the Marvel's Avengers Affinity War and features uh, collectible quality sculpting and paint. Designed by Nielsen X Asenio, Asencio, uh, sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. All right, you guys ready? Let's get them out of the package and let's see what is going on. And here he is, fresh out of the package. Wow, this is slowly becoming uh, one of my favorites. He has a little blaster right here with his gauntlet. He has, uh, I guess these are the stuff that comes out in his suit that actually helps him have an extra blast. And I know these actually came out one time to nanobite his suit. Nanobites are basically small organisms that makes his suit up. The base itself, excuse me, I'm sorry, I had to uh, get it in my hand. The base itself is really nice. I really, really am enjoying this base because I've never seen this type of uh, plastic see-through material Except for on the Goblin Queen. I saw it on her. Look at the bottom. That's has to have extra um, support. This is very heavy uh, for the PVC. But the stand itself is very nice. Look at that. Look at that. The blasting. I, 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 the first thing I, I saw when I looked at this uh, statue was the way his legs was crossed. I'm, I don't know why, but I think that's totally cool. It's totally awesome. Uh, these detach. Uh, when it first came in the package, uh, one of them was wobbling up and down the package, and I absolutely got terrified um, because I didn't want it to be messed up. I liked the statue so much that I really didn't want it to be messed up. Now, you don't even need uh, to really focus in on the face to tell that this is the most realistic uh, statue that I do have in my collection because it looks just like Robert Downey Jr. I'm talking about this statue is almost on the level of um, Sideshow Collectible. To me 
it is on the same level as a Sasso collectible. Uh, very cool washing the hair. Uh, this work, this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, we're just going to say power, power's display or image of his power is really cool. Like uh, the blue, uh, this blue is almost like it's about to blast off. I think they probably should have put it in a different color. It probably should have been like in a uh, orange and red, kind of like a fire kind of kind of thing. But like I said, I really didn't realize what I was purchasing. I said, hey, you know what I'm saying? This Iron Man statue looks pretty cool. I thought it was pretty nice. I saw it a couple of times, but I was like, I, you know, I'm not really into Iron Man like that. And, you know, it's just a statue or whatever. And I was like, nah. But then when I, you know, I, I said, hold up now. This statue is kind of nice. You see, I has like the, and you, I don't know if the camera can pick up on it because of the glare. But if you actually look right here and right here, these are the Hulkbuster eyes. So it comes over and this suit can actually make a Hulkbuster. Let's cut the lights and see if you can see it. Uh, it's, I know it's dark, but you you know it's the blue right here and the blue right here, which actually um, which actually uh, is to me it's the Hulk Buster. And look at the face. That is Robert Downey Jr. All the way. That is him. My God, that looks just like him. But let's light it back up and keep looking at it, because I know you can't see too much with the dark off, with the flash off. Come on, light it up. Yeah. So when it came in, uh, Big Brother Rig and uh, 17K Hudson. Uh, where's Big Brother Rig? I haven't seen him for a minute. Um, I went ape nuts and giggled like a dolphin. Like I said, these detach, but I don't want to get into the habit of detaching them because when you detach plastic, a lot of times it gets uh, looser and, you know, it, bec it's, it start becoming easy to fall out. Very detailed, you know, down to the Robert Downey Jr. butt, you know, down to the boots. Look at the bottom of the boots. The base is just awesome. Wow, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. And he's super huge. Super huge. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put him. Because I'm running out of room because I have so many statues. But, man, if you guys don't see how awesome this is, man, I know you guys. I know you guys see it. This is super, super awesome. So, you know, I wanted to do the Punisher. That was going to be the next one that I did. But I had to put the Punisher on hold when I saw this box on my front porch. When I saw the box on my front porch, I was like, it's no way. That that thing is that huge. And it's huge. So let's do a size comparison. Let's compare Let's compare him to my favorite statue and my biggest statue. Let's compare him to the Predator. In here, Iron Man is compared to the biggest statue that I have in my collection, which is the Yorkshire, which is the, Yorkshire, the Predator. Uh, That's the Jungle Hunter from the first movie. And uh, yeah, you can actually see how big and bulky the Predator is because he's his actual scale. Um, that's how he would be compared to uh, Robert Downey Jr., who is actually Iron Man. If Iron Man actually stood up off the base and the Predator stood up off the base, you would see that the Predator would be taller. But being the fact that the Iron Man has all these extra accessories as far as the powers display, and the power images, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the Iron Man statue stands above. So if he's nine inches, they, I think they actually measured, um, they couldn't have measured from base to the actual top of the fire because the predator has to actually be like 10 inches tall so uh, he has to at least be uh i think my okay 11 yeah he's he's over uh what, how, how big did they say he has to be at least between 11 and 12 inches the iron man so that's very cool, man. It's just very, very cool. I don't know where I'm going to display him. It almost looks like I need to display him by himself. Wow, look. The PVC allows his foot to move a little bit. Just love these PVC statues because, like I said, I bought the other type of statues from um, from uh, Sideshow Collectibles. And anytime they fall over, something's going to fall off. Something's going to chip. Something's not going to survive. Just look at that armband. Wow, this is awesome. Now, I wish it did detach and there was an arm up under it, but that would take the place of it being a statue. This statue is so worth the money. I think that I really did get it on a steal. This is almost like, to me, a $100 statue, but I got it for like 35 Very awesome. A lot of detail, you know, in the body. Just awesome, man. I'm just, I'm so excited, so happy about this. So, you guys ready? All right, let's do this.
And so once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition, the channel for our Direct Edition. Um, like I said, I got uh, two old school Toy Biz Marvel Legends to review for you, and I also still have The Punisher, and I have another movie run to do. So I'm not going. Sh- I'm not sure how the movies are, <laughs> how the movies, how the videos are going to fall into place, but we're going to keep on reviewing. I'm sorry, I've been away for a while. Uh, I just I got caught up and busy and all kind of stuff. And, you know, it was, it was Pop's birthday. Uh, for his birthday, so I was really, really busy, but uh, yeah, I'm here now, so let's keep these reviews going, I hope you guys like this, because this is very awesome, be safe out there, peace.